Hi guys and welcome. My name's Chris and this is Calibria Crystal Guardians. So in this video we're going to be talking about the top five features in the game that you kind of need to know when you start this game because they're going to be helpful. They're going to be useful to you in progressing in this game. And the first one we're going to be talking about is Sanctify Skills. And this is a, a really important one to know from the start because there is like an opportunity at the start to kind of capitalize on this and kind of set you up in the future. And that's going to be with Angel of Death. Um, so as you go through the start of the game, Angel of Death is going to be rewarded from your growth plan. And she's going to be... Uh, unless you can pull like a really decent farming champion, she's going to be your go-to hero. Hero, not champion. For farming early on in the game. Um, so I've been working on her. She is my, my farming champion. Because she's probably the best at doing it so far for me. And... Okay, she does all right at the minute. I haven't got a level draw up, so I haven't unlocked this yet. But if we go to the information here and we scroll down a bit, it's just going to tell you a little bit about um, what Sanctify is. So Sanctify Heroes. Heroes may be sanctified one, once they reach the six star level cap, allowing you to choose from a new sanctified skills from new sanctified skills. Um, so what that means is once you reach the level cap for this hero, you are going to be able to choose an extra skill to use with this hero but in order to unlock that you need to sacrifice the same hero of the one you're trying to sanctify so once you've sanctified it once you've unlocked it you get to pick to choose you get to choose an additional skill to have on your hero um i don't know what they are yet you can find those out somewhere else i'm sure or i may post another video once i get that stage um but there's quite a few to choose from and once it's unlocked you can kind of go back and uh, you know switch that skill on the fly just like you can with your normal skills um and that's kind of like a big thing because in the in the growth pack as well where you get this hero at the start you have an opportunity to double your awards so i think it's about five pounds and it's probably i would recommend investing in this it's um going to give you double the rewards for everything that you collect on the growth plan um so, so I've just done it for this one, which is the second one. So I've used, I've collected my prize pool, which gave me, gave me like another, uh, like 20 odd mystic summon books, which is really useful and a load of Ascension cats. Um, but yeah, definitely on your first one. Um, if you can, if you're willing to buy that two times rewards token, and that's going to give you two, um, angel of deaths. So that's going to set you up for when you reach max level on Angel of Death. You're going to be able to sanctify her and get that extra skill, which is just going to be a bit, uh, another boost to your hero, as long as you're not lucky enough to pull an even better one, <laughs> which in my case I haven't been. So, you know, she's going to be my first six star. So that would have helped me there. Unfortunately, I missed out on that opportunity because I didn't know. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, second one, this one isn't so unique. This is... Fusion Champions. Now, a lot of these are going to be on the Heroes page uh, down this side. So if we go to Craft, um, you can see we can. There's some heroes on here which we can actually uh, craft. We can fuse with other, with other heroes in the game, and we can go all the way up to the five star hero here, which is Necromancer. Um, now looking at the still skills for this guy, he's not anything too special. He does have one certain skill that stands out which is kind of reminiscent of Verimus from Summoner's War, which kind of uh, gets rid of one debuff from all your heroes at the start of each of his turns. Um, but, yeah, this guy is kind of up to you whether you want to grind for this guy and spend resources on him. He does cost, cost a, a considerable amount of craft, 500 Kalanoi, um, which can be hard to come by if you're not picking up all these uh, rewards, especially the two times rewards, that's how I managed to get back up to 600,000. But yeah, so you can fuse this guy. You might pull some of these from your summoning packs, but a lot of these smaller monsters, which you need to get these four star heroes, you're going to be able to farm in campaign or get rewards in your in your quests, uh, with the exception to one, which is a voodoo walker. And this is going to lead us to like a, a feature 2.5. Which again, if you're from Summoners, if you play Summoners War, you're gonna know about this um, from that game, and that's the the kind of the secret dungeons, which is something that they don't tell you about, and that can be found in the catacombs 
And for each of these factions, you got the lawful, chaotic, evil, light and dark. Um, if you if you keep playing these, there's a chance to unlock a secret dungeon, which is going to allow you to kind of acquire tokens to summon a specific hero for the dungeon that you unlocked. And Voodoo Walker is one of these heroes, which can be found in the dark catacombs. Yeah, I guess you, you can keep out, uh, have a look on the chat, kind of ask around if anyone's unlocked this secret dungeon, or if you have a friend that un that's unlocked a secret dungeon. Um, I believe it appears in Scout. I haven't found one yet, but they do exist. And this is, you kind of need to find that dungeon to be able to unlock that fusion. Um, and to get other, other heroes as well that appear from the like random secret dungeons. So yeah, that's another like feature that's kind of, you know, you don't know unless you know. So uh, from that, we're going to go on to the next one, which is re-rolling heroes. Go back to, into the heroes page. Again, it's down this there. Uh, down this left side of the screen and it's convert let's move to this person this cat um so on this th this is kind of cool so if you happen to pull a load of heroes let me just see if i could do it with this one we could do it with five star heroes um i'm sure on essences at the minute uh, but you can accumulate these in the game or i think you might be able to buy them as well uh, i'm not too sure on that point but if you got multiple of one Unless you're wanting to save that for for sanctifying that hero, just from, just take that into consideration as well. Like you do need two of the same hero to be able to sanctify them. But if you didn't if you didn't want it for that reason, you can convert and try and get something else. Um. So the good thing about this is if you've got enough uh, resources to convert all the levels and ascensions that you've got on that hero, you want to convert kind of carries over as well. So we'll just do this one quickly. This is going to cost three effort, three essence. This is a three star hero, a natural three star. And so we're going to click on the convert, and it's going to re-roll it to a random, th another random three star hero. And then this we got the rock golem, and it keeps the levels and the ascension stars. That's kind of cool. We're not going to do that. Yeah, so that's another feature in this game. Which kind of makes use of you know uh, useless heroes later on in the game once you've got multiple like loads of multiples of uh, a certain hero or it's just one that you don't like and they're not going to use so uh the next one on this list is the honor totems or just totems but they're in the honor area of the game so if we go to battle and then enter the arena we're going to get to this lovely screen um so this is part of your daily is just to go in and play the arena uh, some people like just doing pvp anyway and you're going to be accumulating these honor points in your fight plan uh, just down here if you go to advanced training it's going to kind of you encourage you to go onto the uh, the honor shop to buy things uh, i've still got this one to get i'm probably going to get this first so if you go into the honor shop there's stuff you can buy with your with your honor tokens um such as skill cats and summoning books uh, and also essences if you wanted to like yeah re-roll your uh, heroes uh, you do need a separate one for like and light and dark heroes which is a different here it's going to be a, a lot more uh, the cost is going to be much greater but anyway this is the hero shop i'm, I'm going to borrow my skill cap from here because i just want to get that fight plan out of the way that milestone um but once i finish that i'm not going to spend anything else on there until much much later in the game so i'm going to be concentrating on this one which is totems now totems <laughs> Um, they cost honor medals, um, but they increase your stats for all your heroes, which is going to be a big boost to your account. And there's kind of this feature exists in other types of games like this, but this is just it. Uh, it doesn't really go into it, and it's kind of just hidden in this uh, in the arena uh, screen. So this is really useful. The top four are going to be for all your heroes. So this one's going to increase HP of all your heroes. This one's going to increase the attack of all your heroes, increase the speed of all your heroes, and increase the crit damage of all your heroes, which is fantastic. Invest in these, because these are just going to be a boost. No matter what level you are, these are going to be useful. Uh, and then under this, we've got um, boosts based on your on the hero's faction. Um, <clears throat> so there's five of these. Increases HP for dark, light, evil, lawful, and chaotic. Um, but because they're individual, they... The, the stats are slightly higher um 
So personally, I would focus on these ones first, which do everything, and then move into these. Um, and these are just HP for each individual individual faction, and then attack percentage for each individual faction. So that's another thing to consider. Um, spending your hero points on, and another little it's kind of hidden away, pushed to the back here for this to for these totems. Um, okay, so the last one we're going to talk about is going to be in your hero section again and this is one that I think is kind of the best thing and it kind of like captures the essence of this game so if we go over to archives um already I haven't got any here but when you acquire a new champion if you go into archives you're gonna get these little exclamation marks above the hero that you've uh, unlocked and you're gonna be able to click on that and it's gonna give you like a small reward for unlocking that hero just just for pulling it um which is great um, but the best thing about this is if we go into archive rewards <laughs> now this i think is that like perfect i think it's amazing for these type of games and this is basically um a reward for collecting heroes in a hero collection game which you know is pretty cool so you've got your different factions here you've got your lawful your chaotic and your dark one whatever that is um you know, once you collect all these heroes on this list, like I've got four more to go on this one, like last three or five stars, but you know, I'm closer than the others. So once I collect all these specific heroes on here, I'm going to be rewarded with more five star heroes, um, special heroes as well. So these are light side, uh, light faction heroes, and then dark faction heroes. <sighs> so yeah, brilliant. I think that's absolutely fantastic in a game like this being rewarded for the purpose of the game which is collecting heroes so you know kudos to the game for having this little feature in it which is kind of brilliant and it again it's like it's kind of hidden back here <laughs> but it's something that should be mentioned and something you should be aware of in this game and that is all the five there's probably like two half ones in there as well five features of this game which i think you should know about when starting this game so yeah that is kind of it for this uh, i'm just gonna do one more thing that's just summon a few few more heroes see if we get lucky because i haven't had much much luck lately um so i've got three books here i'm just gonna pop these for you guys see if we can get anything nice from them let's go we got some gold and we got this guy <clears throat> minotaur chief He's one of the fusion heroes, one that I didn't have before, so brilliant. It saves me a lot of uh, a lot of grinding. Um, I should get these last three out of the way as well. See if we get lucky at all. Ah, uh, no. Oh, <laughs> okay. We did get lucky. Brilliant. So now I've pulled her. I can actually sanctify her when, <laughs> when I level her up. So, nice. So I just uh, save myself five pounds there. And Elven Archer. Ah, oh, nice. It's brilliant. So now I've got to have a, now I can get a sanctify skill when I finally six star this champion hero, which is going to be soon. So brilliant. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you found some of this information useful. Um, if you, you know, got any comments about this, uh, any like anything to discuss, whether I'd, whether there's anything uh, wrong in this video, then just please leave a comment, and hopefully we can get that changed on the video. Or if you just want to start up a conversation about, you know, something that you enjoy about this game, uh, go for it. And yeah. And if you did like, if you did find any of this information useful, then please hit that like and subscribe buttons. Uh, it means a lot for me and my channel. And thank you very much. And hopefully see you guys again in the next video. Oh yeah, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Take care, guys. Bye.